Hello, this is Kevin. Masked up, Steve and Cynthia are with me, and we are at Chichester Cathedral. And there is a moon installation inside, which we're going to go in and see. Um, we're hearing not very good reports about it, but it's going to be interesting to see what we can see for ourselves. It's evidently better late afternoon or at night time, um, because obviously it's darker then. But we'll see what it's like. We're going to head on in there now. Hopefully I'm going to be able to video, but I don't know until we get down there. So let's go on down and find out. It, it is, it's just a very small video camera, which is just in there. Get, they get smaller and smaller. That's a microphone receiver. That's my microphone. And that's it. So everything you're saying, I'm picking up. Mm. <laughs> Be careful of what I say. Must oh, yeah. <laughs> so we are now inside the cathedral, as you can see and we're walking down the central aisle and you have the moon installation directly in front of me. And it's absolutely amazing how that fits in in this aisleway. So let me just try and move round a little bit because it have got to be careful because people may not want to be seen in video. But while I'm in here, let me just show you some of the other bits of the inside of the cathedral. I've got no information about the cathedral here, but this is the chapel of St. Thomas and St. Edmund. So what I'll be ju just showing you is very quick snippets of what I'm seeing as I walk round. So I'm now in the North Isle. And walking, moving my way round. Just show you up into the roof space as we go round. So I will now be directly underneath where the moon exhibition is or and we're just coming through here now just as I'm wandering through let me just show you this huge window that is in front of me which is on the north side of the church of the, of the cathedral sorry This incredible wood and it's showing you all the different uh, it's 
just incredible. That's just quite. Just look at that. Just there, we've got the gift shop in front of me. We've got this incredible wooden structure in front of me. From this side, I don't know what that is. But it could be where the organ is from the other side. Going through this way, just got to go up this step here. Just gradually moving my way around to the other side of the moon installation. Just got these steps. And then that's the moon installation from this side. And of course, it's looking completely different from this side because it's got more light on it. So let me just step up here, turn around, and I'll show you again. Up through there. Just underneath here, we've got some of the original flooring, which is um, a mosaic there. But something I spotted straight away, and if you look directly down onto that mosaic, what struck me straight away is it looks like a swastika, which is not what you're supposed to be finding, I suppose. We've got to love this tapestry just in front of us, which is beautiful and colourful. But as we wander back down through here on the the south transept. You've got these tombs on each side. This one here, Robert Sherborne, Bishop of Chichester, 1508 to 1536. Quite incredible. Let's wander back up these steps this side so we can have another look at the moon installation. <laughs> Let's just have a wander down through the centre. Towards the moon installation itself, and I'll get a shot from directly underneath as I walk out through here. Go back out underneath, looks like a walkway underneath as we go through, down some steps. Just here in the corner, we've got this spiral staircase which goes up to that walkway which is between the different transepts, and just here. Got this wonderful plaque, George Kennedy Allen Bell, Bishop of Chichester, 1929 to 1958. True pastor, poet and patron of the arts, champion of the oppressed and tireless worker for Christian unity. So we seem to have lost um, Cynthia, but just here we've got a board which tells you the bishops of Selsey at the top and then the bishops of Chichester from 1075 till 2012 which I'm assuming is now the same bishop that we've still got here and on that um, wooden uh, display that I saw earlier on that was obviously the bishops of Chichester just here we've got this rather impressive huge wooden door which has got to be eight eight and a half nine feet high but then you've got this other 
door just on the side, just, just built into it, I mean. Then we've got this here. But let's see where Steve and Cynthia are. I don't know where either of them are now. Actually, this one here I've just mentioned is Richard Durnford, Bishop of Chichester, 1870 to 1895. Then you've got the Chapel of St. Clement here. And you've got these little chapels set aside all the way around the cathedral. And just there, which is a quite a modern looking uh, installation on the wall. Remember those who served and those who gave their lives from the Royal Air Force stations in Sussex. We will remember them. And of course we're coming up to uh, Remembrance Day shortly in uh, November. So let me just wander back into the central aisle and show you the moon again from this side. And as I mentioned just now, the different light shining onto the moon. From this side it's darker, from the other side it's got light streaming through the windows onto it. Well, just in front of me is the new font that Cynthia's just pointed out to me, which I hadn't seen. Fantastic copper insert. But also, she was telling me about the... Oh, just going up to the tower. The incredible ceiling that's up there. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? As I've come back down to the new font. Well I've just come outside now, let me take this mask off for a little while. Whew. I've just come out from looking at the moon installation and I have to say I'm not that disappointed. Yes it's the daylight, um, uh, but as I mentioned in there just now, you've got one side which is, you know, much better than, uh, on the lighter side than the darker side. But yes, it's probably quite nice at night time, but I'm quite pleased I went in there and had a look at that. So, I would recommend it. If you get a chance to go and see the moon installation, go and see it. In the, in the cathedral itself, it's actually rather nice because you've got such a, a lovely variety of things to look at in there. So, yeah, give it a go. I like it. Well, Cynthia, Steve and myself are, are back out. So I had to go back inside to look for them because I, I couldn't find them. So we are now on the, where are we, the south side of the church, of the cathedral. Nearly called it a church. That would be a bit of an insult, wouldn't it? So there we have it, you know, and it's that big. <laughs> that big, I can't fit it all in. But on the end buttress there, you've got this magnificent um, sundial. So we're at the tower end now, at the west end of the cathedral. And as I pan round and then tilt up to the spire, and that's the spire that you can see from many, many different vantage points. And if I just wander back this way, I can get that spire directly in that cross of the vapour trails of the two planes.
But on this side here, as I say, this is the south side, you've got these amazing gargoyles with the spouts coming out, which would discharge the water from the roof. And there's four of them along this side. And you've got this fantastic masonry, um, which is stone, but then you've got these incredible uh, tops to each of the buttress. As we come around this, it's all flint built along there. The walls are flint built. As we come through here, we, we're heading to the Bishop's Garden. Pound around, Cynthia and Steve. There's uh, five um, spouts coming out of the top part of the roof and down into a little gully and the water runs all the way down and it's behind each of these um, buttresses and it comes down off the main roof from an outlet and then filters down the gully onto the lower roof and then out through the gargoyles. We've come out from the cathedral, which is actually, let me just try and show you, we're in this little roadway here. Uh, 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 there it is, that's the cathedral. And Cynthia and Steve are ahead of me, just by this stunning um, old stone entrance to the Bishop's Garden. And we are gonna have a wander around here to see what we can find. Steve knocked on the door, but there's nobody in. That's what usually happens if I knock on his head. <laughs> <laughs> so we <we're laughs> Sorry, Steve, you know I didn't mean it, mate. There you go. Oh, here you go, there's a notice board here, tells you exactly where we are. Bishop's Garden. And then we come. So do I go to the left or to the right? Well, I'm going to go to the right. And we have still got some flowers out in the garden, which is rather lovely. Lovely little bell shapes here, look. There. This is rather nice to see these flowers. And I'm sure Cynthia, with her expertise on flowers, will be letting us know what they are along the way. We've got some oxide daisies, I think, there. I'll probably be corrected, that's not oxide daisy, but there you go. <clears throat> and look at these, this is just stunning. You know, we're, we're well into November now. And we're only, as I mentioned earlier on, we're only a few days away from Remembrance Remembrance Day, the 11th of November. And actually, this is a beautiful spot to sit, but not a good spot to, to film in because the sun's directly in front of me. But let me just pan round a little bit while I'm sat on this lovely, comfortable seat. Now I'm being sort of looked at as if I need to get up and get a move on. <clears throat> These lovely flowers here look. Rather lovely. Let me come round this way. We've got some uh, fuchsias here. <clears throat> and these are the fuchsias I know I said to my daughter about getting some to create a little hedge. I do like these, this is a, a rather pretty, rather pretty flowers. So let me come back around this way and then we're going into this entrance here, I think. Yep, go down through this way. Into the main bishop's garden. <clears throat> And this is where we're going to start seeing the rather lovely change of colours 
in the trees as a leaf just drops down past me. And if I just turn round from where I am now, and that's a rather lovely view through there to the cathedral. But just in front of me got two trees where the leaves have really changed now. Got some beautiful colours here. Yellows and golds and greens and all sorts. Really, really lovely. We are now walking around the top part of the Bishop's Garden in Chichester. And if I just show you down through here as we walk round, you've got all these different types of trees. We've got the road away to our right hand side, which leads you past the uh, Chichester College. So we're walking along here. Got to be a bit careful because the ground is a bit slippy underfoot. And this is just around the top of the wall. As you can see just in front of me, the wall there, we've got this lovely sunlight coming through um, from the college direction, which is what, south of here. So as we walk along here again, just show you down into the gardens itself. And just in front of me, you've got this huge, you'll have to excuse my shadow, huge tree there. And just, if you can make it out, there's a, a metal band holding the two uh, trunks that are coming up. In fact, it might be three trunks coming up. A really thick, strong metal band holding it all together. And if I just tilt to turn, to pan round to there, you can see the spire of this cathedral. And then the walk, the little path comes along the side of the wall with a beach hedge to my left hand side. There's a huge variety of trees in the Bishop's Garden and just here you can probably see the berries on the holly tree. And that's another view down into the gardens there. Well, we've finished our wander around the Bishop's Garden and we are going to go off and get some lunch. Yes, Steve's very happy about that. We've got the cathedral behind us, which you can't see from this shot. But anyway, we've had a nice walk around here. Nice look at the moon installation, which, as I said earlier on, I actually recommend it. It's not as bad as I thought. But anyway, Kevin, Steve, Cynthia saying bye bye and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to follow, like and subscribe to Kevin's Rambles.